like erected. Ding. Uh, let's start having some fun. The uh, facade. We're gonna start tearing it apart to uh, start moving along the project. I've been lazy, not doing much, but uh, it's just been it's just been nice not to do anything. And uh, yeah, ding. So a bit of a garage update. I did some cleaning here, some organizing, trying to get more crap off the. Uh, off the floors and uh so more stuff to put away but it's so cold like i have a storage um shed okay, i got a storage shed uh to put some some parts away and stuff but there's snow and it's minus a million outside so i'm not gonna do that uh until the spring but either way so put a new i erected a new shelf so uh we're gonna get some more stuff off the ground eventually. And organized things and did stuff and put stuff away, which is good. Got this uh, organized a little bit, added a TV um, just to make the space a little bit uh, a little bit nicer. And I got a uh, little M12 kit that came that came with like a sawzall and little uh, mini impact and light and a couple batteries but the main reason it was a good kit to buy it was a uh, black friday or a boxing day whatever sale so i really have been wanting one of those for a long time so yeah so we're gonna get this this going um so we're just gonna take it apart the uh the main thing that i want is this is the short block that uh, that still needs to be completed building. One of the things is that uh, I'm going to use the ARP head studs that are in this block to put into that one. The all the other fasteners are AR, ARP, so like main mains, rod bolts. You know, I want to see what this one looks like when I get the head off. Take the head stud head studs off, clean them up, and um, yeah, and just start disassembling and getting. The engine bay clear and then um, start going from there you know draining get the front end off all that kind of stuff and then uh, yeah and then start start getting that block together and get it ready to go in and then where it goes from there we have uh, a short runner intake up there that we're going to put on so um, some of the things I'm still trying to figure out is should I go with uh, right off the bat with bigger injectors? Because um, we got thick 630 cc injectors in there, and I mentioned a million times before that I'd like to do direct port water meth. So I still have to figure out is what power level do I want to achieve? Um, I mean, I could probably uh, up the fuel pressure and uh, these injectors at 90% duty cycle plus. Um, water meth, I'd imagine it would still be enough to support uh, on pump fuel, um, you know, 500 wheels, I guess, 550, I don't know. So I just got to do some research to see if I want to, how far I want to go. Um, the main thing is, this car even at 400 wheel for me on the street is, uh, is still hilarious, it being a wagon and everything. Um, and we don't have a built transmission, so, you know, there's only so much I can do. Um, this turbo will probably max out at about 600, um, 600, 650 crank. So, you know, that's probably in the 500 to 550 wheelhouse 
So, um, yeah, I don't know exactly how I want to do that. I want to redo the intake too. Having a short runner is going to really free up a lot of uh, a lot of space back here to do intercooler pipes and uh, the intake pipe because I don't like that. I'd like to have the intake in this area over here. So, uh, and I think I can reuse like if you see the uh, intercooler piping goes down there and comes up here. So I'm pretty sure I can just reuse that stuff. Have the uh, the pipe come up and then go to the throttle body right here. Which will work out pretty good and I'll probably put the uh, blow-off valve in this area here. The main thing for today is just to start making some progress. I've been lazy and uh, yeah. So I also put up a uh, like a sticker whiteboard thing on the on the wall so that way uh, as I'm going through stuff there's always things that I think about and then I forget to actually make a list somewhere because I'm not very organized so uh, I put that up to uh, to have it so that if I need to write stuff down uh, I can and I'll remember or check things off the list I'm going to set up the uh, camera for some b-roll footage and whatever the professionals call it start having some fun draining out the 97 so intake manifold is off there has a cork yada yada spending some time building this car over the years it's just it's like an old friend it's just when you're working on stuff everything just just works out easy and nice you know it's everything's familiar so we'll get this pumped out then we'll continue to remove the head Ladies, just <sighs> passing off the dishes. So, 
we've uh, we've put in a little bit of work. We got the head off. Looks like we got. Let's check here. Let me give you guys a little. So it looks like we have a little bit of uh, of damage there, and uh, this is to be expected. These head stock uh, pistons with no extra ring gap in there, so you know um, this this block has been through a little bit. Uh, we think that this block originally, when I put it in, probably had like 230, 40,000 kilometers or so. So she was pretty well worn, not well worn, like it just wasn't fresh, obviously, a bit old. That one, this, this cylinder wall had really taken a bit of damage from the last time, you can actually see it. So, but all of them have like scoring from major expansion, so that's to be um, expected. But everything else is looking fine from the original setup. That's the downpipe that I made. It's a full three and a half inch triple back. Here's the T66. So it's uh, it's in good shape. And if we come to the to the head here, um, the valves, you know, they're not white. It doesn't look like it uh, it went lean at any point. So uh, they're a good color. I'm gonna clean up the head studs. Get that manifold off. Get the manifold cleaned up, put the head off to the side, and start working on the uh, the build block. So I just needed the head studs out of this to to finish assembling this guy. Which um, there's videos coming about that, and then we're going to continue with that. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to hone these walls and. Out of, I have like a whole bunch of spare uh, pistons. I have like 12, 13 pistons or something like that. So I'll pick the best six and I'll gap the rings and I'm gonna put this engine together with the decompression plate and just that, that stock head. And um, I'll put this engine together and have it ready to go in case there's uh, an issue. Or what I might do actually is just maybe do the short block and just leave it ready. And then if there's an issue with this block, maybe the head will be okay and I can just transfer the head over with all the the heavy duty springs and valves and all that kind of stuff and the bigger cams. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if you liked it, hit me up with a, with a like and a share and a subscription, all that stuff help the, the channel grow so we can do more cool stuff and um, participate in some some fun shenanigans in the summer and uh, yeah we'll leave it there but everyone take it easy oh, I hope you like that so everyone take it easy thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one more VR6 turbo stuff coming